The Workers' Party of America WPA was the name of the legal party organization used by the Communist Party USA from the last days of 1921 until the middle of 1929. As a legal political party, the Workers' Party accepted affiliation from independent socialist groups such as the African Blood Brotherhood, the Jewish Socialist Federation and the Workers' Council of the United States. In the meantime, the underground Communist Party, with overlapping membership, conducted political agitation. By 1923, the aboveground party sought to engage the Socialist Party of America SPA in united front actions, but it was rebuffed. Both the WPA and the SPA engaged in separate Labour Party efforts, prior to the presidential election of 1924. The SPA participated in the Conference for Progressive Political Action, which dissolved itself into the Progressive Party. The WPA succeeded in dominating the National Farmer Labour Party, but that organization quickly returned to its constituent parts. At its 1925 convention, the group renamed itself the Workers' Communist Party and in 1929 the Communist Party, USA. The party's youth affiliate was named the Young Workers League, Young Workers Communist League and Young Communist League in tandem with the parent organization. As the Communist International entered the third period, the principle of a leftist united front was abandoned in favor of a single above-ground Communist Party. The above-ground Workers' Party and Underground Party were thus gradually merged in a series of party conferences in the late 1920s into the Communist Party USA. <laughs> Publications Before the party established its own publishing house for books international publishers and pamphlets workers' library publishers, the Workers' Party and Workers' Communist Party published a number of items under its own imprint, or in association with the Daily Worker. <laughs> <laughs> books Dictatorship versus Democracy, Terrorism and Communism, a reply to Karl Kautsky by Leon Trotsky with a preface by H. N. Brailsford, and a foreword by Max Bedact Workers' Party Library Vol. I. The Government, Strikebreaker, a study of the role of the government in the recent industrial crisis, by J. Lovestone Workers' Party of America, New York. May 1, 1923. The first book published by the party written by an American, Workers' Party Library Vol. 2. ABC of Communism by Nikolai Bukharin and E. Preobrashensky. New York, Lyceum Literature Department, Workers' Party of America 1922 Vol. I. <laughs> <laughs> Pamphlets Program and Constitution, Workers' Party of America, adopted at National Convention, New York City, December 24, 25, 26, 1921. New York, Lyceum and Literature Department, Workers' Party 1922. Workers, Unite for the Struggle Against the Bosses, Manifesto of the Workers' Party of America. New York, The Party, 1922. Should Communists Participate in Reactionary Trade Unions? by N. Lennon New York City, Literature Department, Workers' Party of America, 1922 For a Labor Party, Recent Revolutionary Changes in American Politics by John Pepper New York, Workers' Party of America three separate editions, the first in fall 1922, the next, substantially revised in spring and summer 1923, but only latter two had author's name. Constitution of the Workers' Party of America, as amended by the Second National Convention, New York December 24-25 and 26, 1922 N. L. N. D. Blood and Steel, An Exposure of the Twelve-Hour Day in the Steel Industry, by J. Lovestone New York, Workers' Party of America, N. D., 1923. What's What About Coolidge, by J. Lovestone Chicago, Workers' Party of America, N. D. C., 1923. The Fifth Year of the Russian Revolution, a report of a lecture by James P. Cannon New York, Workers' Party of America 1923. American Foreign-Born Workers by Clarissa Ware New York, Workers' Party of America 1923 Alternate link. Strategy of the Communists, a letter from the Communist International to the Mexican Communist Party. Chicago, Workers' Party of America 1923. Underground Radicalism. 
An open letter to Eugene V. Debs and to all honest workers within the Socialist Party by John Pepper Workers' Party of America, New York 1923. Why Every Worker Should Be a Communist and Join the Workers' Party by Charles E. Ruthenberg Chicago, Illinois, Workers' Party of America, 1923. The Second Year of the Workers' Party of America, Report of the Central Executive Committee to the Third National Convention held in Chicago, Illinois, December 30, 31, 1923 and January 1, 2, 1924, Theses, Program, Resolutions. Chicago, Literature Department, Workers' Party of America 1924. Program and Constitution Adopted at National Convention, New York City, December 24-25-26-27, 1921. Amended at National Convention, Chicago, Illinois, December 30-31, 1923, and January 1, 1924. Chicago, Literature Department, Workers' Party of America 1924. Nikolai Lenin, His Life and Work by Grigory Zinoviev Chicago, Workers' Party of America, Morning Ed., Jan., 1924. Zyseries i Gialinosk Mikolai Lenina by Grigory Zinoviev Chicago, Polskij Sek G. Robotna A. Part G. America 1924 Polish. Our Immediate Work, Program Adopted by the Central Executive Committee of the Workers' Party of America Chicago, Literature Department, Workers' Party of America, 1924. The Farmer Labor United Front by Charles E. Ruthenberg. Literature Department, Workers' Party of America, Chicago, 1924. Parties and Issues in the Election Campaign, by Alexander Bittleman Chicago, Literature Department, Workers' Party of America, 1924. Unemployment, Why It Occurs and How to Fight It by Earl Browder Chicago, Illinois, Literature Department, Workers' Party of America, 1924. The La Follette Illusion, as revealed in an analysis of the political role of Senator Robert M. La Follette sick, by J. Lovestone Chicago, Literature Department, Workers' Party of America, 1924. The White Terrorists Ask for Mercy Chicago, published for the Workers' Party of America by The Daily Worker Pub. Co. February 1925. Class Struggle vs. Class Collaboration, by Earl Browder Chicago, published for the Workers' Party of America by the Daily Worker Publishing Company, 1925 The Little Red Library No. 2. Principles of Communism, Engels's original draft of the Communist Manifesto. Translated by Max Bedick Chicago, published for the Workers' Party of America by the Daily Worker 1925, Little Red Library No. 3. Worker Correspondence, What? When? Where? Why? How? by William F. Dunn Chicago, Illinois, published for the Workers' Party of America by The Daily Worker Pub. Co., 1925 The Little Red Library No. 4. Poems for Workers, an anthology ed., by Manuel Gomez Chicago, published for Workers' Party of America by Daily Worker Pub. Co., 1925 Little Red Library No. 5. The Theory and Practice of Leninism by Joseph Stalin Chicago, published for the Workers' Party of America by The Daily Worker Pub. Co., 1925. Leninism or Trotskyism by Joseph Stalin, Lev Kamenev and Grigory Zinoviev Chicago, published for the Workers' Party of America by The Daily Worker Pub. Co., 1925. American Imperialism, The Menace of the Greatest Capitalist World Power, by J. Lovestone Chicago, Literature Department, Workers' Party of America, N.D., 1925. The Fourth National Convention of the Workers' Communist Party of America, Report of the Central Executive Committee to the Fourth National Convention held in Chicago, Illinois, August 21-30, 1925, Resolutions of the Parity Commission and Others. Chicago, Daily Worker Publishing Co., 1925. From the Third Through the Fourth Convention of the Workers' Communist Party of America by Charles E. Ruthenberg Chicago, Illinois, published for the Workers' Communist Party of America by The Daily Worker Pub. Co., 1925. The Workers' Communist Party, What It Stands For, Why Workers Should Join by Charles E. Ruthenberg Chicago, Ill., Workers' Communist Party 1925. The Party Organization. Chicago, published for the Workers' Communist Party by The Daily Worker Publishing Co., 1925. Passaic, The Story of a Struggle Against Starvation Wages and for the Right to Organize, by Albert Weisbord Chicago, published for the Workers' Communist Party by The Daily Worker Pub. Co., November 1926. 
A souvenir, the Paris Commune March 28 to May 28, 1871 in historical pictures. Chicago, Illinois, Workers Communist Party of America, 1926. The General Strike and the General Betrayal, by John Pepper Chicago, Workers Communist Party of America, 1926. Proletarian Song Book of Lyrics from the Operetta The Last Revolution by Mike Gold, J. Ramirez and Rudolf Leibich Chicago, Ill, Local Chicago Workers' Party of America, 1920s. On a Labor Faker's Trail, The Shady Record of Frank Farrington T. J. O'Flaherty, Chicago, Pub, by Workers' Party of America, Dist, No. 8. Other parties with similar names Workers' Party of the United States. The name was used by the fused organization of the Communist League of America whose members in 1938 formed the Socialist Workers' Party and the American Workers' Party of A. J. Must in 1934 prior to its temporary merger with the Socialist Party of America in 1935. Workers' Party Party led by Max Schachtman after his break with the Socialist Workers' Party, 1940-1949. Workers' Party, USA. Chicago-based organization. 1992-present. <laughs> External links Workers' Council of the United States 1921. Predecessor organization of First Workers' Party, originating in split of the Socialist Party of America. Retrieved August 23, 2006.